Welcome back to Bad End Theater. My voice is dead. So is my throat and so is my like no shit. Uh, cold or something, I don't know. Oh, there are settings. Well, no need. No need for settings. We don't need that. So, we have so many more to do. Let's look at what when what, what can we get actually? Like we've done this, but we have a choice here with uh We do anti-social like an anti-social man, an anti-social overlord. We need an anti-social overlord. I think and an obedient maiden, and then we can get the hero, right? Definitely not hungry. Uh, that's hero. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And this is where we go, and then we are the hero. Alright, let's play the hero. I don't know what we are supposed to do, but we will find the maiden, I think. We're a hero, blah blah blah. Uh, flee like a coward. You find the maiden here. That's not what we haven't found that yet. She couldn't have come to the, from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. You ask the maiden what she's doing. Doesn't she know that the Overlord's castle is like right there? It's dangerous. The maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord, and it turns out the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the villager, village, or anyone in it. I will be trusting. I believe her story. You have no reason to assume she is lying to you, even though her story is kind of hard to believe. You feel you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. The townspeople must be informed of this immediately. The two of you return to the village. They had all been so worried. They praise you for your bravery. But the maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers look at you for an explanation. You politely inform them it isn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains that the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. They don't believe you. She looks mad. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle, subtle in how little they trust this maiden's story. She's mad. She's angry. You totally believe her. But to placate these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town no elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the overlord immediately and says they'll all keep an eye on the maiden until you return. You figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You are unsure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maiden on her own. Yet she suddenly takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together? Her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already. But that doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear the, up the mis this misunderstanding. I agree. The, the people, the townspeople in the story are the villains. The antagonists. And so are the demons that want to overthrow the overlord. You violently dash after the maiden toward the overlord's castle. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into demon territory. Evil miasma? No, you realize it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden head, but she stopped in her tracks. The overlord castle engulfed in flames. You had only taken an eye of the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. The 
get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now. Think of turning back. Maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. It could be impossible to find. She could have been lying to you all along. Was this a trap? Would it be worth risking your life on that chance? Legs feel heavy. No, going in there would be suicide. We'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. We we're too late. Maiden was claimed by the demons. Bystander hero and hey, oh! You already got that one. But now... Now we got this one. Yeah, now we got like... But we did it though, we did get trusting. That's kind of what we need. <laughs> um, so now there are more possibilities, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a choice here as Maiden, which is what we'll do. But also I'll do the same thing real quick. And just flee like a coward, we see her and then we die. Can't be trusted. You are unsure, you should listen to this maiden. You've been taught your whole life that demons are evil. You ask if she's sure about all this, but she gets very upset that you think she would lie to you. She sums up before you can say anything else. You decide to return to the village, certain that she must have been the kidnapped maiden you were sent to rescue. Glad that took care of itself. You take your time walking home, job well done today, you think to yourself. As you walk past the down, down square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? He's bound to a wooden stake, the crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke begins to rise and you stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. You must have done something horrible to deserve that. She seemed nice though, you think? But evil comes in all forms, you reassure yourself. You decide to call it a day and return to your house, but you can't escape the sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Yes! Okay, we got one. We only got one. one. Alright, that's not good. Um, hero 1, uh, we only have a few more. Possessive. Diplomatic. Diplomatic. Yeah, not hungry. Diplomatic. Uh, okay, so not hungry. So we turn off this guy and we just do the possessive on you. Yeah, possessive. Possessive. Not antisocial opinion. And. Yeah, I think we just do diplomatic. Uh, really like a coward. Diplomatic. And do this right. Never actually in any but over your objects to this. The maiden tries to tell her that she's all come right back, but the overlord refuses to hear it. The maiden seems to ner seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to mediate med 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 situations like these. You tell the overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. The overlord passes before suddenly jumping you. You're helpless as she disembowels you with your, her claws. How horrible. You came all this way only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wish is for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. He will. Naive hero went, okay. That was an easy one to get actually. We didn't get that. We have everything hero wise. But we don't have everything like maiden wise. Okay, so. Here we are with a choice, right? Here we get something else. So we are gonna be. Um, trusting. And yeah, we're gonna be obedient and we're gonna leave anti social. And not hungry. So anti-social, not possessive, right? And trusting. I think that's all it needs to be for this to happen, right? Yeah, anti-social, obedient. 
You just have to leave. Polite. Uh, yeah, obedient. He is very surprised that demons don't seem to be as malicious as you were raised to believe. Two of you returned to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. They had all been so worried and are very glad that the hero brought you back. You quickly set the record straight and you weren't rescued because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. Yes, damn right! The villagers seemed confused and looked to the hero for an explanation. <laughs> he tells them the only that he only ran into you on his way to the castle and that this isn't really his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the overlord and that she's not actually interested in capturing mages or other mean things like that. The villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. You feel a little miffed that they seem to prefer his word over yours, but you don't say anything about it. The hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go talk to the demons himself just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into fierce whispers, hearers like trickery and demon sympathizers being thrown around, which makes you frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone had Everyone's this hesitant to believe you. Does the hero does the hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. An old man implores the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous until the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. Because of course, if you were conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by monsters. The hero isn't saying anything. He'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the overlord, not your fellow countrymen. Resolute. You boldly announce that you'll accompany the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk. What's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you? And we grab him. No one seems to know how to wreck you grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. But as you approach the castle you notice something's gone horrible, how to terribly wrong, it appears to be on fire. The overlord alright? You have to sure you have to be sure everyone is safe. You've already taken off before the hero can even think of stopping you. You scan the fleeing demons, but the overlord isn't among them. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. You quickly reach the overlord's room, but the door is shut tight, the handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fist against the door helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick. You can hardly breathe. You realize you haven't got much time left now. You desperately had the words to stare to save yourself. But the fire spread faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. <laughs> what a joke. A maiden? Saving the overlord? If you just stay true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. You let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Yay, you selfless made an A. That was a good one. I liked that ending a lot. That was a good bad end. I'm not gonna lie, I was sad. I almost had tears in my eye. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, now we have everything made in, right? Resolute disloyal. Oh, okay, let's be resolute disloyal. But we already got that end, I think. We just have to be there with her. And okay, now we got everything that we can do, actually. Alright! Disloyal trusting. Let's do that. 
Uh, wait. First thing is loyal and obedient. Okay, this. Wait, wait, wait. This loyal, obedient, trusting. That should do something. I don't know, but let me check what I have to do exactly. So, I begin my story. I can just let the underling take a day off. Anti social. And obedient. The social, obedient. We go this way. Road awakens. Is loyal. Interesting. Okay, that should do it, right? I don't remember. Uh, skip. We let him go. She's gonna be obedient. Wake up to the battle hero. As the overlord, it's your job to take charge in these kinds of situations. It is out to end this hero's pitiful existence. Wild demons, as you never believed for a second that you were anything but pure evil. I'll exterminate you all. They don't really get what she's doing on uh, going on about, but you engage regardless. A girls gotta win their people. You clash again and again, but the hero isn't going down easily. You're both dangerously low on health, waiting for the other to make a move. When one of your underlings appears behind him. They knock the hero unconscious. You kind of appreciate it, but can't they see this was a duel? They don't respond, you sense murder murderous intent. Your servant tackles you, tearing you apart with their claws. You struggle to retaliate. You they've done too much damage. You can barely move now. Your blood is everywhere. You can't believe this has happened to you. Why has this happened to you? You have been slain by your own underling. Betrayed Overlord and A. Let's go. Good. We have 10 more to go. And two more Overlord ones. So. Obedient. Okay, we let the stay and chat and be diplomatic and then we. Let the maiden go. But also we have to have him disloyal. Resolute and trusting. Resolute. Yeah, we have to have him disloyal, right? Yeah, definitely. Maiden go, trusting, disloyal, and diplomatic. And also that diplomatic. Alright, let's go. And I'll like grant them the day off. Then let her stay for a while. I think that has to happen. Let them go. You're certain that she'll return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust in that. You decide. With the hero and the maiden gone, you plop down into your the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. The maiden suddenly bursts into your room, accompanied by the hero. She's trying to frantically communicate with her something to you, but you're still half asleep. What? Hello, what? They tell you a group of demons is after your life. You still don't grasp the urgency of the situation. One of your underlings barges the next, shouting that the demon, the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons, crying that everything was that first underling's plan. Everyone is shouting over each other now, and it's very annoying. You yell for all of them to shut their traps. You have no doubt that your servants would let their ambition cloud their judgment and lead them to try to take your throne. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place. Crush beneath my heel. Thing that made you feel very overlord like. <laughs> Oh, me, yes. You are unsure if you have the strength to back it up. Though, lately all you do is sleep. The group of demons start muttering something about going back to plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. Uh oh. 
you, the maiden, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. Or oh, in an instant, the whole room is in flames. The underling pounds on the door, cursing at their friends. Friends. Or betraying them. Light. <laughs> The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. So this is how you'll die, burned alive in your own room by those you thought you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. You're so filled with anger and frustration you don't even notice that you've grabbed the underling those traitors blamed everything on. They cry for mercy saying that they were dragged into this flood knowing they'd be killed if they took your side. They cry and they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. Forgive them, merciful. You release the underling, killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You all burn together. Overlord's true end. Before you're taken back to reset the story once again, you pause for a moment. True end? You say to yourself, What was the point of all my effort if the true ending is this horrible? You must have forgotten where you were. This is bad end theater, bitch. Is the pain sitting in? Oh, but you should have been well aware of what you would be shown when you entered this place. It's a problem I've seen quite often. At some point you grew attached to my little cast. You started to relate to their flaws, their plights. You started wishing for their happiness. <laughs> but you aren't going to find that here in my theater. My lovingly crafted labyrinth of suffering. Anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption. You're making great progress. The choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave you to it, dear guest. We set the stage. Um, let's do the same. But this time we kill him. Uh, let them go. Let's, uh, uh, let them go. And we kill. Take retribution. You pierce their chest with your clothes. They scream. The hero backs away. He's wise not to interfere. They've stopped moving. But you keep digging and twisting your clothes into them. It doesn't make you feel any better. The underling's corpse burns along with you and the two humans. Fightful overlord end. Let's go. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter 4. Alright, read that shit. My love, do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts. One I was quite proud of, in fact, as I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You're so rude. You wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet, you managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However unrealistic that felt, I look back fondly on that day. Even now, I wonder if, somewhere, you're thinking of it too. Whatever yours. Tragedy. I also that's pink, that's like the same color as the Overlord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got all Overlord ones. Now, Underling, uh, we have a choice here then. We can easily get this one. Still the same bad end, but we can easily get this one, I think. So, trusting, obedient, antisocial. Okay, 
we have to bring the maiden to the castle, so... Uh, polite. Maiden needs to be polite. And let me check. Maiden needs to be polite, obedient and resolute. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. And the hero... Antisocial... No, this doesn't matter. Oh, resolute. We are not gonna make the maiden resolute, actually. Yeah, I forgot about that. First thing, and then we... Kill. Only trusting, not diplomatic. Does it need to be diplomatic? Oh, if he is diplomatic, we go this path. Antisocial. Okay, you need to be antisocial. Uh, this is a uh, Yeah, that should be fine. What do we have to do actually as an underling? We have to keep her, yes. This loyal. Branded the day off. I mean, this loyal. And that's kind of all the choice we do, right? Demon, blah blah blah. Hear her out. Uh, that's loyal, that's what we have to be. You and your friends turn to notice the maiden from early as hell overheard your entire conversation. Be bad for you if the overlord found out about this. Ooh, toss her into the dungeon. You and your friends size the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty, save for the decorative skills. They are only there to make it feel more spooky. The maiden is very upset. We leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. But now a hero has arrived at the front gates. He's asking about a maiden, perhaps the very one you just locked up. The gatekeeper who must have been seen everything tells the hero exactly what happened. What an idiot, you think, why give uh, the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? The hero yells, prepare to face justice! And all that such cliche hero lines before driving his sword into the gatekeeper's torso. You're small compared to the lot of your friends, so you're able to slip away without getting cut up by that sword. You get to thinking, if this hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. You wait for things to die down outside before poking your head out. You spot the overlord and hero locked in battle. They have worn each other down, making this very easy for you. Once an opening presents itself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? Nah, don't care. You don't respond. You have to carry out to assassination. It, you tackle her and rip her to shreds with your clubs until she stops moving. You finish off the hero next. You can't let them revive and come after you later. Kind of achieve victory, but it doesn't make any difference. Anyone who manages to survive comes crawling out of their hiding places. You are the new ruler of this castle. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you as you have bad betrayed your overlord. Lord Underling and A. Did I not get that one? Oh. Yes, we got all the behaviors. So, did I do bad? Oh, we already. Oh, I mean, I only needed this one. Okay, now we need resolute. And now we need her to be resolute. That's all, right? Trusting resolute. And then we kill. We do the same exact path except for captor. All right, let's do that. We. We, we, when your friends turn to notice a pair of humans, they have overheard your entire conversation. They take off into the castle, or they headed to the Overlord's room. Fuck! <laughs> the Overlord will kill you if you're, if she, for sure if she found out you were conspiring to take her out, you dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the maiden's already frantically telling the Overlord everything. You shout that the humans are liars! Your friends soon arrive to back you up, except they don't! Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. 
they cried that it was all your idea and not that they were just going with the flow. Too scared to refuse your crazy plan. You can't believe they tell the overlords such a blatant lie. You always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. You all shout at each other until the overlord demands silence. Silence! Regardless of who led to this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place. Crush beneath my heel. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. <laughs> Here, her traitorous friends. You, he you hear your traitorous friends? Well, there's something about going back to plan A and suddenly the door slams shut. You're trapped in here with the overlord and the two humans. And then the room bursts into flames. You pound at the door screaming curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish he'd got that. he'd get that chance. The overlord grabs you by the throat, you cry for mercy. You were forced into this mess, you're sure now that they would have killed you if you tied it with her. But the overlord doesn't hear your plea, she drives her clubs into your chest. At least she made it quick. True, at least she made it quick, traitor underling end. Alright, we do the same, but the overlord is merciful. Whoop, get her out, disloyal. You're surprised the overlord spares you. Or maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead. Looking around, you've lost, just gone from one dead end to another. The maiden is crying, the hero is silent. You all burn together. True end. And the length's true end. No matter the perspective, the true ending remains the same. That's what my that's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing it for yourself though, could you? I wonder what will happen when you collect them all. Will you give it this in into despair? Or a letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter three. Nice read read that. I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come to my theater, but none of us so far stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't actually been kind. But I understand, my stories aren't exactly clown, cl clown, <laughs> clown, <laughs> crowd pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you soon. Forever yours. Reggie. Damn, this is, this is getting <laughs> depressing. <laughs> Very good. This game is starting to get really good. It was already good at the start. Alright, we only have a few more left, but I'll keep that for next episode, I think. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. The next episode will be the end, probably. See ya!